All right, everybody. Um, we're back with another What Sold video. So um, I did figure out the technical issues uh, from last week. Uh, apparently, my power supply um, on my desktop is going... Well, it's going really bad. So um, I cannot run the camera, the microphone, and the capture software for screen. I can't run it all at the same time, or else I can only do it for a little bit before the power supply just says I don't have enough to um, deal with this and shuts down the whole computer. So that kind of sucks, but um, something I know how to fix. Um, so I am actually making sure it's the power supply, not just the uh, power strip. So I did plug it straight into the wall. Um, hopefully that'll work. And if it doesn't, I can try different software. I have, I have lots of things I can do. But you didn't hear come here to hear me ramble about um, my computer. Uh, something I actually know very little about despite my profession. Um, you came here to see what sold. So let's get rid of this black screen right now. So, is it, okay, there it is. We are capturing. Okay, and if I'm looking off camera, it's because I have my um, I have the phone app down here so I can see the um, actual posture earnings without having to do any math in my head. Okay, so up first we have this uh, free people um, dress. Now this was on last week's video because it sold like on, I think it sold on Tuesday when I was recording it. It just got swept up in it. Uh, that's the first couple of items are going to be that. Um, anyway, um, we got this out of a consignment store box, so it was probably about $20. And um, the posh earnings on it are 52 so with the $20 subtracted from that we made about $32 in profit off this so um, Actually a pretty good start to the week. Okay um, now if I can remember my key commands. Oh, nope. That's the wrong one um, There we go. Okay up next. We have this endless rose um, Pleated shirt again. This was in last week's video, but I can give the actual uh, posh earnings. It says it's um, 26, um, 68 and posh earnings. And this actually came from a haul. So this was only a dollar. So that's $25 in profit off of this. Last, uh, the last thing that we're in last week's video, I think this was in last week's video, um, are these anthropology, um, Donal Donna left, um, pants. And these actually came out of the, um, big inventory box that it did. So everything in that box was about $6 per item. Um, our posh earnings are about $23.50, um, actually $23.48 to be precise. Uh, so once you take the $6 away from that, it brings us down to about $17.50 profit off this. And um, if, you're, uh, if you want to do the math, you can do the math and figure out exactly how much we made in a week. Okay, oh, wrong keyboard. I probably messed something up. Okay. Um, up next, we have this uh, Lululemon um, uh, top, and uh, this top actually came out of it came out of a consignment store box. Um, so it says our posh earnings are twenty dollars on this. Um, it sold for exactly twenty dollars, um, and it. Hmm, that's weird. Uh, anyway, um, just something weird on my phone about this order. Um, anyway, um, this came out, because this came out of a uh, consignment store box, it, we did pay up for it. Now, I don't think we paid quite $20 for it because that would be no profit, um, and my wife would, wouldn't have priced it that way. So I don't know. I think that Lululemon box had 10 items in it, and it was about $50. So we'll say we made $15 off this. Um, and that actually was the last item from that Lululemon box that we had. So that box completely sold in um, under a month. So that was a really good, um, really good box for us. Okay, up next is this Urban Outfitters. Oh, wrong keyboard again. Up next is this Urban Outfitters. Um, Pins and Needles knit sweater. Now this um, was, I believe, a, uh, I believe this was a reseller box, but it was a really, really old reseller box. Um, so 
I really could not tell you what we actually paid for it. We may have actually taken a loss on this. Um, it says our posh earnings for this were eight eighty nine. So that's more than twenty percent. So my wife must have done free shipping on this. Um, anyway. If it was an older reseller box, we probably paid 20 for the whole box, um, 20 or 40. That's normally what we were paying for those older boxes. And um, they normally came with about five or six items in it. Uh, so only a slight profit on this, um, but it was older um, and it was something that was new with tags. So it's probably, I have no idea what we made off it. Um, Probably only a couple bucks. All right. Up next, we have a Fabletics new with tags um, tank top. Now, this I know um, there was probably no profit on this. This actually came out of one of our contest box that we did, where we um, picked a random person who entered the contest by following my wife on Instagram and saying, hey, I want to be in this. Um, we picked a random person and we spent $100 in their closet. And uh, we took all the stuff and then we relisted it. And I did some videos on that. Um, so if I remember, I'll put a little thing up there to, um, to have you click on that and go to the video. Uh, but anyway, our posturings on this were $1680. And um, I think the box had only had the box only had like four or five items in it, and we paid a hundred dollars exactly for it. So um, we actually took a loss on this one of about four dollars. But again, um, it was to do with the contest. Um, it was to really help resellers out um, at a time when they couldn't be out um, couldn't be out um, sourcing. So. That one, so that one, it's understandable. We weren't really looking to make a profit off those. We were ho just hoping to break even. Um, wrong. Okay, up next is a free people dress. Um, now this did come from a um, recent consignment store box. Um, so, and it's a free people. So it was probably around, um, around that 18 to 20 mark um, as far as the, price we paid for it and it says we made $32 off it so um, take the take the $20 away and we made a $12 um, about $12 maybe a little bit more than that 12 14 bucks um, in profit off this one all right up next we have a big big one okay so these came from a reseller box and I know my wife normally pays for, um, she normally pays around, this is a newer reseller box, so she normally pays around like 40, 60. Uh, this, wait, this is a reseller box. Oh, no, 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 these were a consignment store box. Um, and I think there was a lot in this consignment store box, so it might have been a $100 um, consignment store box. Anyway, um, we made, these sold full price, eighty dollars, um, and the consignment store box total was a hundred dollars. It had roughly like fifteen pieces in it, I think. So um, these shoes probably we only paid um, about maybe eight ten bucks for these shoes, um, and we were able to sell them for eighty. So that's like a that's a probably a seventy dollar profit. Again. It's really hard to say with the consignment store boxes because if you you say, okay, um, if these were the best item in the box, then they probably cost a little bit more. But if you divide it up evenly, anyway, I'm going to say we made around $70 in profit just off these shoes, um, almost paying for the entire box in one sale. That means that everything else in that box is now pure profit and other stuff sold from it. So that box is now making us money as opposed to being um a drain uh, as you know just tying up money um so really really happy about this sale and they were they're hard to find because i forgot that we had shoes in that box and normally keep all the shoes separate 
So I, had to, I went through all the shoes and could not find them, and I was just, uh. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do a video on our horrible inventory system um, at some point. Maybe once it gets slightly better. Okay, up next is a anthropology dress. Um, this is another one that was out of a consignment store box. Uh, so I believe that consignment store box had about eight items in it, and we paid about 80 for it, I think, so about $10 an item. Uh, it says our posh earnings on this were $40, and yeah, um, pretty simple math, 30 bucks profit off this. So really happy about that. Um, and this was like the, maybe the, maybe not the most recent consignment store box, but the one right before that. Um, so sold pretty fast, um, which is always good. All right. Up next, we have a. Oh, oh there we go. Up we have an Athleta um, shirt, and this actually, um, this is going to be, I believe, um, I believe this will be coming up in a video. Uh, I'm not sure if I did a video on this box or not. Um, it was out of a thread up box, um, so it was roughly two dollars. Um, our posture news on it because we sold it at our asking price are 16 so $14 profit off this um, yeah uh, and this actually so the sh the fabletics everything from that point was weekend sales so not a lot of sales during the week but then the weekend comes and my wife just sits down and starts um, starts sending out offers and really trying to relist stuff and working hard and that's where all our sales come from so just um yeah about one sale a day and then the weekend comes and we just all right so up next is an anthropology an anthropology tunic now this um was from our last goodwill haul um and it was a dollar day um so only paid one dollar for this um, posh earnings of 22.40 uh, so 21.40 is our total profit off of this dress or tunic um, yeah so really good find there um, really good profit um, we have not been back to the goodwill since it um, reopened so we may have to do that event um, eventually but we just have a ton of inventory right now so we're not really looking to source I have a ton of stuff still to shoot um, I think I have like Three box, three big, big boxes of like fifty or hundred items to shoot. So, um, yeah, I know I said um, I wanted. To, I know I just finished up, or it feels like I just finished up the hundred pieces um, box. We had got another one of those, so there'll be more of those videos, and that's going to be probably all of July. Some videos, or should take us into July, um, the rest of June and into July. Okay, um, next we have a Bowden, um, a Bowden top. Um, this was from a uh, consignment store box. Um, again, those consignment store boxes, they really sell fast. Um, the stuff in there is very, like, it's just hot items. Um, so this, it says our posh earnings were $22.40. Um, and given that it came from a um, consignment store box, we probably paid... You know, I, yeah, um, I think we would have paid around twenty dollars for it, so maybe not. Um, but I think that box also had more than five items, so I would have to I would have to go to the I'd have to actually go to the receipt, which maybe I'll do that next time. Um, so probably somewhere between ten and twenty dollars we paid for it. So really hard to say what we made off this. Probably anywhere from twelve to two bucks. Um, so, but it was a fast sale. So, there's that. Okay, up next we have these Saint um, Saint John Sport high waisted um, jeans. Now these were from a Dollar Day haul. Uh, so our posh um, our posh earnings are eleven oh five. Um, so we made about ten dollars five cents off these. Um, so pretty good for. Dollar Day haul, and um, they're 
St. John's Sport, which is different from St. John's Bay, which is different from, I think, different from just Saint, regular St. Saint John's. Um, so, yeah, it's confusing me. Um, but they sold, they actually were in our closet for a while. So, didn't sell really fast, but we did make $10 off them. All right. Up next, um, we have this free people, um, this free free people dress. Um, now this was from a reseller box, so probably something we paid about $40 for the box. Actually, this was from a very small reseller box, so it may have only been $20. Um, but our posh earnings are $40 on it. So it either paid for the entire reseller box or it paid for double the box. Um, so really, really happy about that. And that box also had it was only three items, um, so it had two other items. So now, once those sell, that's pure profit, um, and I like that. <laughs> and the last item that sold this week um, is this uh, v, uh, v V Ret um, blouse. Um, now, this um, came from a VA box, so. I know I've done a couple of videos on this, um, but we did get a VA um, earlier this year, and uh, we dogs. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. Or not. And our VA, um, as part of the tier that we're at, we um, get boxes of inventory. Now the boxes of inventory are normally they're a, normally like about eight items, and um, it's hard to say what the pricing model on them is because we're also getting the VA services and they just so sends them um, just so sends cards and stickers and stuff to send out to packaging supplies uh, so it's kind of hard to say what the profit is on that but um, anytime we sell one of those um, it's essentially it's all baked in cost anyway so pretty much we got $12 um, it's our posh earnings and $12 I'm just gonna say $12 profit off this um, our VA is absolutely um, wonderful. We love her. We won't get rid of her. Um, so if you see one of the VA videos, you know, if you stop at the beginning, you can see the, uh, you can see her website and go there and use the discount code that's on the screen. Okay. Um, anyway, that brings us to the end of this, uh, what sold video. So, um, that's that's about it. Um, pretty good week. Um, you know, kind of slow during the weekdays, but once we got to the weekend, boy, we just uh, we just cranked out. I think nine sales over the weekend. Um, let me count them: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, ten! That's close. Ten sales um, over the weekend. So um, really, yeah, really good weekend. Um, finish the week strong. Um, so. Be sure to check back every Wednesday for um, What Sold videos. Um, I'll be doing them as often as I can. All right. Until next time, I'm Trust, and I'll see you.